below me are tens of burning bodies. And this right here behind me is the dirtiest river in the world and we're about to jump in. So let me explain. Why are these bodies burning? In the northeast of India lies a small spiritual town named Varanasi, comparable to the Catholic Vatican or Muslim Mecca. It stores thousands of years of relics and tradition inside its borders, many of which won't make sense to us. But if I'm going to learn to understand it, I need to throw myself in the action. I need to go to the center of it all, participate in its traditions, and most importantly, I need to ask the hard-hitting questions. You know what is that? What? Those are the ashes. Come here. These are human ashes? Yeah. A river that cleanses your sins, human ash-filled air, and a death ritual that sends you straight to Nirvana. Join me as we discover Varanasi. Oh yeah, m <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't become a local right away? Me banarsi who? Me banarsi who? Me banarsi who? Me banarsi who? Here I am stopping traffic, letting him know that I'm a local. By the way, if you thought I was a foreigner, I'm not. I'm a local. I just have to let them know. You know, I got my uh, my slippers on here. I got my local gear that clearly is an iron and I just purchased as you can tell by the lines. How are you bro? Fist bump, like this. You say hello in America. Like this, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Teaching them American slang here. Are y'all from here? Uh, England. Clearly not from here, right? Uh, are y'all are y'all going swimming in the river? No, no, no. You know it clears your sins. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't mean to scare you, but if you don't swim in it, you'll probably just end up in hell. Well, maybe I'll see you in hell, probably not, because I'll be... I'm swimming in the river. I don't want a girl that's going to hell. You know, if they're not, if they're not willing to swim in the river, because they don't have swimming trunks, come on, please, I'm going in there naked. You think Satan's going to look at you when you're at the gates of hell and say, oh, you didn't have swimming trunks. It's cool. We'll wash away your sins. You can go to heaven. Look behind me. All these boats. The Varanasi boat. In July, the water goes up to there? Yeah. Yeah, water is cool. Oh, shit. Behind me is the Ganges River. Okay, this is one of the dirtiest river in the world. It smells like a landfill right now. Absolute pure filth. The... The tent of the boat is held up by some not really cemented bamboo. So we're taking a boat now to the side where they burn bodies in the Ganges River. So he's gonna take us to two ghats. One is Manikarna Ghat. What'd you call me? <laughs> My name is Ghat. <laughs> so one is Manikarna Ghat. Uh, they also burn the bodies there. Okay. Maybe we find some Aghoris there. Okay. And one more Ghat he has told me about. I don't remember the name. They, they cremate the bodies. So, yeah, I'm not really afraid of gangsters and shit, guys, but when it comes to filth, swimming in this thing's probably scarier than all the other things that I've done. Brother, yeah, yeah. if they start chasing us, yeah, 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 we yeah. need to run, Yeah. okay? Yeah, we'll I need to go fast, I'll yeah. pay you extra. Okay. But just run away from them as fast as you can. Relax, relax. I can't, man, I'm shaking. Yeah, yeah. Behind me are many people swimming in the river. They're cleaning their sins right now. If you've watched me and you haven't subscribed to ArabUncut.com yet, you belong in this river. Not that I want you to drown, but I want you to clean away your sins. Okay, because you having not gone to ArabUncut.com and seeing the real raw and unfiltered videos that YouTube doesn't let me show. Maharaja Palace. Ah, Maharaja Palace. Remember, this is one of the most historical rivers in the world. It carries a lot of history. I'm just imagining right now entire wars being fought on this thing. You know, imagine you look and there's a fleet of ships just coming at your city. They're over there, they're burning dead bodies. Oh, it is piss. Around me completely smells like urine. This is an Aghori, a spiritual tribe that lives off the dead. Clothes from the dead, ashes from the dead, 
I mean, their entire existence is based around doing taboo things to get rid of shame. Some even reportedly eating humans from time to time. What are they burning down? Oh my God. Oh, that's, a, that's a body. That's a body. Yes. So we just walked by burning bodies. Uh, I don't know if you were able what to see that? it in the footage. We're gonna try to do another round to get it better, but it was honestly quite disgusting. And you know what came to my head first thing? When you see burnt dead bodies? That's the first thing that I saw. I was disgusted by what I just saw, and I started thinking about we're so jaded as a society. Like we see, we we see pictures and videos online. It's like, oh, whatever. It's just a picture or a video, but it's pretty real. You know, it's captured on camera. Cameras capture reality. There's like uh, dogs sleeping, people sleeping under these tents. As we walked back through the fire pits, I noticed animals eating on the ashes and clothes of the dead, but I still wanted to understand it better. There's a lot more intense footage on ArabUncut.com that YouTube doesn't let me post. That's a dead one. Oh my God. So behind me are burning bodies that they burn here for spiritual reasons and then they cremate them, they throw them into the river. The goats and the animals around, the dogs and the goats are eating parts of the body. So what about that? They burn a body in there too? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, five. Three, three hours time. How long? Three hours for one body? Do you put something on the body to make them burn or just wood? Start the fire. When your mother or your father dies, the elder son, you know, uh, gives the light to the bodies, the ah, okay. fire. They start the fire and they get their head shaved, bold. Really? The sons, yeah. So what do they do with the body parts once they're done? So, uh, the hip of a woman, uh, hip of woman and man's chest, little the little bones and a little flesh which is left, they cremate in the Ganga. But they don't turn it into powder? No. Oh, the body parts that are left, they just throw it in? Yeah. yeah. And also the ashes. Are these ashes of a person? Yes. This and white ashes are human? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Human that, ashes. Okay. Yes, yes. And his family does the job of uh, generation to generation. from generations to generations. His family is the one. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our cast name D O M Dom cast. Yeah, yeah. His cast name is. What what cast are you in? Because India has three castes, right? So people say he's from the lower caste, but he thinks he's from the higher caste because without him, they can't cremate the body properly. Without his hand, they can't do it. Okay, so India has a caste system where there's three four, tiers of people system. and like you know how high class they are to lower class. Thank you man. What's your name? Dom. Matru. Matru Dom. I... Oh this is uh sorry. This is holy? Apparently I just stepped on some holy thing. I got yelled at. Brother, brother, where's the So also for you guys to understand the water about one month ago was up to here. So now it's down to here, but about a month ago, the water was up to here. Uh, when, when the season ends, the water gets lower and this entire area is filled with mud and trash, etc. And they spend time, those hoses that we saw earlier, they, they spray away the mud and the trash that stays under and they wash it back into the river. Behind me is basically that burnt body place we were at, but way more. There's like 30 being burnt, and it's much more visually appeasing, actually. You want to go there? I want to go there. So I'm being looked at by everyone. You can clearly tell because of my camera that I'm a foreigner. Just an idea of how dirty this water is. Inside here, it's completely black. Look, look behind you, everyone's looking at me. <laughs> Here I am in the uh, Varanasi, India, on the Ganges River. And this right here behind me is the dirtiest river in the world, and we're about to jump in. Uh, it's a ritual here around this time to come and clean your sins. When you jump in the Ganges, you're cleaning yourself of your sins, dirtying yourself with the materialistic things. This river is filled with shit, dead bodies, like so many things. I'm doing this 
just for this video, actually. It smells absolutely like urine. I'm washing my sins right now. You, you collect the water uh -huh. and pour it down like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, like yes, what does yes, that do? Yeah. What That's that a do? ritual sort of thing. What? I have, what to, I have to die? Look at your face. Film your face, please. Bro. Sharik's face is pure disgust. <laughs> <laughs> it smells very, very bad. Very bad. I'm most worried that, you know, some water went into my ass or something. And like, now I have a disease. <laughs> <laughs> we could just walk away and nothing would happen. So they try to do that. They give you a price. We even bargained on the price, and I tipped him, and he's still going. Don't talk. What's up, man? Holy man. Holy man. Okay. What do you do? Yes. You're gonna bless me? Yes. Come here. You know what is that? What? Those are the ashes. Come here. These are human ashes? Yeah. Okay. Actually? These are human ashes? Yes. Ashes. Am I supposed to give him something now? These are actual real ashes. Yes. Okay. From the... You couldn't have warned me before I put them on? It's a rub cut, right? <laughs> Right, He's very high. You can see it. it How much high. do I give him? Uh, maybe like a hundred. Do you have a hundred on you? No, I. I think I have a hundred in here. Hold this. He's saying five hundred. Oh no, no. Five hundred for putting human okay, ashes on my head. Okay, very nice. I actually only have a five hundred. Yes. So maybe just give him the five. It's, it's like God telling me. Uh -huh. So I now have human ashes on me. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. If I knew that prior, I would have said no, but you didn't tell me prior. Because so. I you to take the real feel, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. You take the real feel for I don't, me also. I don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if to tell you thank you or to tell you <laughs> These are more burning bodies, yeah? Yes, disgusting, you know. The smell. Man, this is definitely one of the most wild things I've seen. Oh, wow. And this is like a funeral? Yeah, this is the funeral. So this is after they after they yeah, light their yeah, maybe his mother or father died. After they light their relatives, they shave yeah, their head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Photos not allowed. Can I pay somebody to give let me take photos? And this scene particularly for me is quite important. It just shows you at the end of the day that everything is a business. This guy had a set of rules, and at first mention of some money, he decided to just throw it all out the window and let me film everything. Oh my god. Hey, bro, these are all dead bodies in here? You see this man? Oh my god. This is mad. Whoa. Below me are tens of burning bodies. These here also have bodies or no body? body. Why, why do I not see the body? Because it's under the wood. It's under the wood. They burn the humans here and then they have funerals? Yes. These people are all yes. relatives? And who people burning here? This yeah. all go directly Nirvana. Oh, no people more, who get burned in Varanasi go no directly to Nirvana. Yeah. No more reincarnation. Oh, so this is this is the end best of, kind. Yeah, end of life. This is the best kind of funeral Ceremony that you can have. In Hindu culture. Okay. Yeah. Wow. How how are you handling it? No, no, I can't. And the family is still here. They don't allow to cry because when they cry, dead body soul catch attachment. So you can't cry at your own mother's funeral. You can cry, but out of this place or at the home. Okay. No, but when yeah. you come here, no crying or your soul gets attached. Yes, yes. So to soul not free to leave. Oh wow. Not go to so what happens if the somebody cries? They have to go out from here. Ah, okay. But they the soul will still go because yes, yes. they kicked the person yes, out. Yes. Okay. This is crazy. The guy went on to tell me that one ritual costs about twenty to thirty thousand rupees, which is about three hundred US dollars to buy your way into Nirvana. You just bless me? Did you just bless me? I'm being blessed for some cash right now. I don't know. Sharik's a bit scared. You are crazy in the head, you know? Very crazy. We're going to the eternal fire right now. Uh, most people, most vloggers will never be able to show you this. If they come here, they'll be able to see it from the outside. 
think anyone has shown them like that. Not a single person, I guarantee it. I have it. never seen it that way. Because I've only seen them from the other side, not from up there. This is barber shop. Yeah. Family member do the shaving here. The, the person who lights the fire yeah, like shaves their head. Older son do it. Yes. Mother die, younger yes. son do it. Wife yes. die, husband do it. Okay, they go bold. Yes. So there's a whole community of people who do the cremation thing. Yeah, these are the people. And they, it goes from generation to generation. This is the eternal flame. This right here is an Burning eternal flame. 3,500 years non-stop. This is burned 3,500 years non-stop. Non and, and, and do you have to add more fire to it? They put the wood continue. So, so if somebody doesn't do their job, Over the family, generation to generation, taking care. They do this their whole yes. life. Yes. They don't. Yeah. They don't burn bodies over. No, no, not here. Burning. Burning over there. Burning over there. And this is the family. Yes, family. And what's the family's name? Dom. Dom. Oh, Dom. Oh, same guy that we spoke to earlier. Wow, my eyes, my eyes are burning from all the ashes. So this is the eternal fire, three thousand five hundred years of burning. And and what's the uh, what's the purpose of the eternal fire? Family have to take fire from here, then they light the fire. Oh, no so light all these bodies all this body can only be lit from yeah, this fire. From oh my gosh, that is wow. Uh, my eyes are burning from human ashes. So much smoke in my eyes. Pretty cool spiritual traditions, but tough to handle for sure. I've definitely inhaled a bunch of different human ashes while doing this. As you get closer, it's just smoke hitting you from all angles. So, wow. Wow. And this place, only the man come, no female. No females come. Close the camera. Okay. Ashes on your... Just me and my homie here. Watching the sunset to a bunch of dead bodies. This is romantic date. Not romantic, though. it's the peaceful day. Do you ever bring Every a girl day. here? Girl? Yeah. For what? It's for a date. Yeah. Let's go watch some dead bodies. They can come girl, but not the family woman. 